Way back in Project 2, we made Guess the Flag, which showed three flag pictures and asked users to guess which was which. Well, based on what you now know about voiceover, can you spot the fatal flaw in our game? That's right. SwiftUI's default behavior is to read out the image names as their voiceover label, which means anyone using voiceover can just move over our three flags to have the system announce which one's correct. To fix this, we have to add text descriptions for each of our flags, describing them in enough detail that they can be guessed correctly by someone who's learned them, but of course without actually giving away the name of the country. If you open your copy of this project, you'll see that it was written using an array of country names like this. So the easiest way to attach labels there, the way that doesn't require us to change any of our code, is to create a dictionary with country names as keys and descriptive labels as values. So please add this to content view. Let labels equals an array of Estonia flag with three horizontal stripes of equal size top stripe blue middle stripe black bottom stripe white then France flag with three vertical stripes of equal size left stripe blue middle stripe white right stripe red I'm not going to add the rest but you get the idea and all we have to do is add the modifier accessibility label to the flag images I realize that sounds simple, but the code has to do four things. Use self.country's number to get the name of the country for the current flag. Use that name as a key for self.labels. Provide a string to use as a default if somehow the country name doesn't exist in the dictionary. This should of course never happen, but there's no harm being safe. And convert the final string to a text view. Putting all that together, put this modifier directly below the rest of the modifiers for the flag images. Dot accessibility label text self dot labels self dot countries number default unknown flag and now if you run the game again you'll see it actually is a game regardless of whether you use voiceover or not this gets right to the core of accessibility everyone can have fun playing this game now regardless of their access needs